Hi, welcome to digitalphotographyhowto.com. My name is Annette, and today we are going to work with our levels. So we're going to open up our picture that needs some editing. We're going to click on our new folder up. We're going to click on the drop-down menu up here. We'll go to my pictures, and as you can see, I saved my pictures as the year, the month, the day and then a brief description of what's in that file folder. And some of these folders in here I haven't had a chance to put a description in. I'm going to go up here to my thumbnail so I can see what I want to open. And this was a fun photo shoot I did with my niece. She's going to have a baby soon. So we'll work with one of my favorite pictures. We'll work with this one right here. Okay, so one of my favorite editing tools in Adobe Photoshop is Levels. So I'll go to Image, Adjust, and Levels. I'll bring it over here so you can see it better. Um, one really fun thing to do is to use these little eyedrop tools right here. So I'm going to, it says Set Black Point when you put your cursor over it. I'm going to hit that one. I'm going to go up here because the backdrop should be perfectly black. So I'm going to click on that. It didn't change it much because it is showing up black. And I'll go to white and I'll click on her shirt because that's supposed to be white. So it automatically brightened up her shirt for me. And then you can watch the picture as I use these sliders and you can see that moving this one to the left really brightens it up. But we don't want to make all the shadows from her shirt go away. So I'm going to leave it where it was. The middle slider, if I slide it to the right or to the left, it will um, lighten up some different shadows on her and I like that one about right there and then this one all the way to the left I'll pull to the right just a little bit and then I'm gonna click OK now you can see that I barely moved these sliders at all you don't want to do too much because your picture will not look right when you print it you just want to brighten it up enough so click OK and there's our picture We'll try one more. We'll go to File, Open, Thumbnails. Let's do this one. It looks like it needs to be brightened a little bit. Okay, so I'll go to Image, Adjust, Levels. I'll try to fit this on the screen so you can see it. Okay, I'm going to use the black. And I'll use the white on her shirt. There we go. I'm just going to lighten it just a little bit more. And there you go. Now to save it, I'm going to go to File. And I want to keep the original picture just in case I don't like the way this one prints. So I'm going to choose Save As. And then I'm going to type after the image number. And I'll just do edited. That way I'll know that that's a different one. Now here's our JPEG options. I always save it quality 12, maximum, large file slid all the way over, baseline standard. I don't really worry about these format options or the size right here. Um, then I just click OK. And then I'm done with that one, so I'll click the red X. And this one, again, I need to do Save As. And there's a basic version to use levels in Adobe Photoshop. Come back and we will learn about curves next.